Today on All for Horses TV, we're going to be looking at Jane riding Georgia doing medium 75. And we're going to have a quick look at her and how she warms up. And then we're going to ask her to ride through medium 75. And then we will discuss it, see how she thought it went. And then we're going to have a little bit of a lesson and then ride the test again. And hopefully we'll see an improvement. Uh, Georgia Brown is a mare that I bought uh, a year and a half ago. Um, I bought her really because she was quite established dressage horse, she'd been ridden by a sort of semi-professional and I really wanted to get a horse that wasn't a question of the blind leading the blind. Hello there. Hi there. How are we doing? Very well, thank you. Good journey? Yes, freezing but well. Is there anything in this um, medium 75 that concerns you or is it a case of just putting the movements together which is the issue? Or? I think yeah, a lot happens very quickly in this test. Yeah, it is. I've not ridden this one with her before. The things I'm predicting that I'm going to have to be very careful, things like the half pass in trot back to the track in the middle of B or E and then straight into length and strides. That happens very quickly. Yep. And she anticipates like hell, so I've got to be very careful that I prepare on the one hand, but not too much, because the minute she thinks she knows what I'm going to ask her, she's off before I've even Absolutely, asked her. yeah, okay, understand. You're going to ride through the test, and then we'll discuss it and see how we think about it, and then Great. work from there. Okay. All right? Yep. So Jane's entering in collected canter. We're looking at the balance, the straightness, the energy of the canter, and how balanced the horse is coming into the halt. She was quite established in a halt transition, but a little bit against the hand coming in and a little bit in the move off. Tracking right into a shoulder in. Looking for the angle, the fluency. A little bit needed of um, a bit more of a setup through the corner. It's just tilting the head, as you notice there and that brings it into the circle, which unfortunately allows the horse to pull down on the rein and she loses her rhythm. And she's just cut the centre line a little bit short there. A little bit too much quarters, which then blocks the front, which loses the rhythm and the energy, and it's difficult when you've got a medium trot to come into. The, the steps was okay, but there's a little bit rush coming in and coming out. So the transition in and out is just as important as the medium trot itself. A bit more angle needed in the shoulder in. You can see it's just varying a little bit. And then the circle. She needs to just ride her a little bit more up to the bridle. And again, the circle is a little bit small, 10 meters. And this is a little bit what Jane said at the beginning, she was a bit worried about putting all these movements together because they come up so quickly. And you can see around the corner, quarters come first, which makes it difficult for the horse to get into the half pass with a nice forward impulsion. Transition to the medium trot, which was better this time. A little bit early coming back. And again, a little bit early to the halt. And the five and a half steps again, it's, it's just a little mistake where we don't really want to start giving away the marks. She walks back very clean and um, that's probably just a little bit rider error. Extended walk. Mare has a good walk, she just needs a little bit more purpose in the walk, a bit steadier in the head. You see how she's just coming a little bit up, losing her tension. Coming a little bit against Jane's hand. She needs to relax that medium walk, keep the head still. It's important in this walk that you keep it forward and energetic. With these walk pirouettes, the horse has really got to take you around. If it backs off, it's very, very difficult to keep the clean walk. And she got away with that. It just, again, went a little bit wide at the beginning and then she recovered it. I'd like to see a little bit more bend. This is better. Tightness in the neck coming into the canter. It drawed back rather than went forward into the transition. It's a good movement to have as a medium canter now because it sets up getting the horse back in front of her leg. A centre line half pass, 
A big subject for Jane is her centre lines that we need to work on. The half pass is good. It's forward. It's accurate. I'd like to see a little bit more jump in that counter canter. It's just pulling down a little bit against the hand. Again, Jane needs to be able to ride her up, leave her alone a little bit more in the rain. And a bit more collection coming down to the walk, but a good strike off to the canter. Oh, there she hit the centre line better. She so get bonus marks for that. Nice half pass, but she didn't finish it. I don't know if you noticed there, she just failed to bring the quarters over at the end. Nice flying change. Again, not required for this level. She should really stop, rebalance it, pick up counter counter and then carry on. For this simple change, she'll lose marks because she was on the wrong leg coming into it. So that whole counter counter simple change, expensive mistakes. Now we have the medium canter across the diagonal. Not quite enough shown. And again, you need more transition back to the collected canter and collected trot. She just needs to be a little bit braver, especially when maybe she's made a mistake the movement before. She's got to pull, pull some marks back again. A long diagonal of extended trot. She's got to keep it coming all the way to the marker. You can see the horse just wanting to come back and Jane's having to push her a little bit stronger. Good rhythm. See she hits the centre line. Much better that time. Keep it straight into the halt. Very good. Okay, let's go and speak to Jane and see what she thinks. Okay, Jane, lots to talk about. Yes. What's your views on the test first? Quite mixed. Yeah. I thought, parts of it I thought, yes, I could really feel um, we're connected and then I'd lose it quite quickly and mm -hmm. get it back together again. And of course the... Um, the little whoopsie in the, the flying chain. Yeah, I, I felt that too late. I should have corrected it immediately. By the time I felt it around X, I just thought... I mean, this is the, this is the f first problem from that point of view, is yeah. that if you don't change it, you lose marks in your counter-counter, yes. obviously, yeah. and you come to your simple change on the wrong leg. Yes. yes. So even if you've done your whole counter-counter and you thought, oh, God, I'm on this leg, yeah. you're better correcting it because yes. to, just to get your mark back here. Yes. Because officially they're going to give me a zero for that. Well, absolutely. I not demonstrate a simple change. Yeah, I mean, you, you, that was an expensive. Um, I, coming down the centre line, I thought your canter to start with could have been a little bit stronger. Right. You can easily come down that centre line with a little bit more, come on, look at me, kind of. And okay. it was a little bit coming in thinking, ooh, don't look at me. The half passes, you don't tend to ride them badly. You just set them up a little bit wrong. So right. you, you get the half pass back, but it's the, your setup at the beginning that you can make so much better to make your life so much easier okay. for you. Right. Um, on all of them but one, you miss the centre line. You're always about a metre short. Right. Okay, so again, that's a mark you don't need to give Absolutely. away. Okay. The transitions in and out of the medium is, again, somewhere that you need to uh, yes. make smoother. Yeah, it just, the first one, it was a bit rushed coming in, and then this one dribbled out. Yeah. So again, the, the transitions is just as important as the medium trot itself. Right. Um, your halt rain back was early, and, um, you rain back absolutely lovely, but too many, five steps. And I don't know if you felt there was a little half stride. I didn't feel that, no. And then she rocked and came forward. Of her body on sea? Your body. My body should be okay. Right. Your, your position should be at sea. sea so she's behind it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's got to be your body. First pirouette wasn't as good as the second one. He stepped a little bit wide. Yeah, yeah. So you just need to hold that shoulder a little bit more. Yeah. Have a little bit more bend coming into okay. the pirouette. Right. Right. Counter, counter, a bit more uphill. Just sit there, ride her up to it. She's, I'd like to say she's reliable, but yeah. okay, usually she's very good yes. at that, and yeah. you can actually sit there and drive yes. yeah, I should the be canter. Be more confident. Yeah, exactly, and then you get a better simple change for yeah. that. Yeah. Um, medium canter at the end, go for it. 
Right. You know, you came out a little bit, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. and by X, you're both thinking, I'm back. Yeah. So it, again, it dribbled to P, and then the counter counter to F was quite nice, yeah. but it, it needed more energy to it. Right. So we've got lots to work on. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do some work in here and just address some of those problems. All right? Great. Good. At first, well, like I always do, I start off with a little bit transitional work. Yeah. Just stop, start, stop, start, just to get the horse a little bit listening to you. I want you to try and think about keeping an equal contact in the rein, making her stay straight into the two reins. Good. Again, a little bit sharp on the move off. Don't let her sort of walk out of it against you. Make her a little bit more, oh, we're off then, are we? That's it. She's got to be thinking this horse forward. I mean, medium 75 is one of those tests like we've been talking about that comes up so quickly. Yeah. And if it backs them off, that's it. You're, you're struggling. You're really having to work too hard. And go. A bit sharper. That's it. And walk again. Good. Change the rein. Support with the right rein, new bend with the left rein. Push her out through the body, bit of suppleness. Don't bring your inside rein to your stomach, just bring it slightly to the side so you don't block in your whole body yourself. To keep the lower leg a little bit down into the transition, lighter than the hand, not so much hand. Yep, and go, better. Horse stayed more level. Okay, go large. I want you to ride me a leg yield from F across the school with no bend. Just have a straight, and then she just comes away from your leg. Use your corner. Good, and now leg yield. Look to where you're riding to. I want you to ride towards S. Feel her in the hand a little bit softer. Watch the head tilting. So you keep that head still and straight. Use the outside rein, control both. Hold that shoulder, that's better. Yeah, good, more equal. Much better, and straight. Good, this time you're gonna do it with the circle and then with a traver afterwards. Try and split the movements up a little bit more. So you ride your shoulder in, you get your angle, now you're into a rhythm, you keep it forward. Keep that angle into the circle, but now start thinking about the balance in the circle. Set her up. Keep her equal in the hand. Steady, steady, and now keep the bend into the travers. Don't block your inside rein. Work her through. Good. Now go straight through your corner. Much better. Come down the centre line and half pass. Straighten now. Look at the center line. Right forward and shoulder four. Better. Take your time. Let the marker come to you. Don't chase. Normal trot. Good. Yeah. Okay, let's do a counter strike off. Think forward. Yeah, that's it. Energize the counter. A little bit more shorter rein. A little bit quicker with your inside leg. Make a little bit more jump in the canter. Very good. That's better. Medium canter on the long side. And drive. Drive all the way. All the way. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Soften the hand. Now sit into the canter. Collect. And ride forward. Right forward, back into more canter, canter, canter. That's better. Okay, you're going to do a medium canter on the diagonal. From F to S, collect to S, canter, canter, trot in the corner. Be brave. Ride for it, push it up, straighten. Keep the straightness, keep riding, keep riding, keep riding. Now collect. Balance. Do a transition to walk. 
Now you can see for me in the medium canter, you rode it, but you let it drift a little bit towards the end. So that as it came towards S, it almost leg yielded the last couple of strides, which then made you go straight. But you've got to ride to the marker and then collect at S and then turn counter canter transition. Okay, let her have a little stretch. Um, I don't mind you making mistakes as long as you know why you're making them yeah. and what you're trying to get from them. Yeah. Okay, Just so if, yeah, if you've gone for your medium canter but you're making a general point of saying, come on, because you're not in front of my leg, and she does a change or she loses it, things happen. Yeah. And but she has to learn yeah. to go for that medium canter. She can't come around the corner backing off, backing off, yeah. because you'll never get the medium canter that you're looking for. All right? Yep. So I just want you to just ride a little bit stronger into this test. Do you hear that? We're going to do it. Yes. Okay, this is Jane. She's going to ride medium 75 for the second time. We're looking for that entry again. A bit more purpose that she's got. Yep, she's riding that a bit stronger. And she's got to keep it straight. Don't let it drift to the left. Good. And be positive. That's more like it. And she's straighter because of that, because she just rode him a little bit more into that bridle. Think about using the corner. Easier. Lost the angle towards the end. This is where she needs to think about being at X, hitting the marker. Much better. A little bit of head tilt, as you can see there. Now she just needs to get a bit more outside rein, not so much inside hand, that she'll tilt it outwards. Could be more angle in the travers. Ride forward around the corner, outside rein, bring the shoulder first. Again, a little bit quarters early. She rode the centre line better, but again, needed to put the shoulder in front. But because she rode the centre line better, you notice she's back to the track in plenty of time to do the medium trot which is half the battle, good, through the corners. Let's see how she rides this halt transition. Unfortunately not a square halt. One, two, three, four, four and a little bit. She got caught out again. This extended range, you've got to let the horse take the nose out more. You see how it's coming a little bit lower, but it's not actually taking the rein. And for extended walk, we want a bit more purpose to it and a bit more of the horse taking the neck. Let's see how she brings him back into the collected walk. I think the transition this time round is better. It's a much cleaner transition, and for that she's got a better walk coming around the corner into these warp pirouettes. Now, I'd like her to set up the warp pirouette with a little bit of shoulder fall. That keeps the horse in the direction that he's travelling. She keeps the walk coming from behind. You just see it getting a bit slow and it sticks there with the hind legs. The horse must keep the clear walk beat. Bring the bend around, forward with the walk, forward with the walk. That was better. She kept forwardness. Could have a little bit more forwardness, but from the point of the first one where he got stuck on it, it was much more improved. Good transition. Now she needs to sit down, use the corner, use the corner. More collection needed, and that's why the horse drifted away and overshot the centre line. This horse needs to take a bit more weight coming back. She recovered from the half pass well. Now this is where I would like to see her ride this counter canter. You see the mare just backing off, just needs to be a bit stronger with the lower leg. I'll ride it up to the bridle. Now sit into it, collect it. And forwards. Good. I think when the horse starts to take a little bit more weight, she'll find that she'll have a better contact. Let's ride the flu meter. Again, could have had a little bit more preparation through the corner. Keep it going all the way, all the way. Now start to collect. 
Make sure you don't lose the quarters coming back. You must show a clear transition to collect a canter, then turn on from P to F. And then you get a nice straight transition in a corner. Keep it coming. Relax the upper body and transition. Soften through the corner, let the corner come through. Nice in the neck. I think there's a lot of basic things that we need to work on with this combination. The movements aren't an issue. It's just a little bit more of the simple things. And I think when the horse learns to take a little bit more weight, you'll get a much better frame in the neck and a better contact. You can see sometimes she just opens the mouth for a bit of tension. And um, she just needs to get a little bit stronger in her self-carriage. And then the, the rider will be able to let go of the rein a little bit more and say, keep your head there for yourself. But I think generally an improved test. Um, we'll see what Jane thinks and combine the, the two notes. Definitely improved in areas. I think that we need to work definitely on the basics of the horse needs to support herself more. Yeah. Because she does sometimes open the mouth and that's just by telling us that, you know, yeah. you're doing too much of the work. Yeah. So it's a lot more of compressional work, transitions to say, come a little bit quicker, a yeah. bit more in front of your leg. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's good. Well done. Okay. Nice horse to work with. Give me <laughs>